Hi everybody, welcome back to Soma. We are currently trying to get a power pack, but there is a crazy zombie girl that keeps attacking us. And what's weird is that this thing doesn't act like all the other monsters. doesn't pace around. It doesn't pace around. It just stands still. And it happens to be standing still right next... Right next to the thing we need. Like, I don't know how to get it away. Unless we can get it to chase us. And run away from it? I mean, like, what do we have to lose? So we want it to run at us this way. Chase us? I don't like this one bit. Oh my gosh. Did it move? Maybe it's out of the way now. Oh my gosh, my heart is pounding. Hopefully we lured it away from the power box. Is she talking to us? Look, she moved. Our plan worked. Our plan worked. Okay. Okay. So she's facing away from us, so she can't see us. I can't tell if she sees us or not. Every time she does that thing where she like flips out. I can't tell if she sees us or if, or if we're good. But she hasn't ran at us yet. I think we did it. Oh boy. We did it. Great. Let's get the hell out of here. Never want to be here again. All right. So still not sure how she works. I don't know what gets her to chase me, but it seems like cha letting her chase me away from the power box. What? Oh. My. Gosh. That was quite the jump scare. Oh.
Literally all the glass in this thing just broke. What on earth did that? There's something in here. That thing. Whatever just was there. What? How did she how did she get up here? Which way is she facing? Is she facing our direction? Sort of. Whoa. It's disgusting. Oh my gosh. So I wonder if this game... Oh my gosh! I thought we got away from it! Oh my gosh. Okay, where did it last save? Okay. So it looks like we just came downstairs. And here's the jump scare. It's less of a jump scare this time. Because we knew it was coming. We're like tapping into Ross's pass or something. Though we wouldn't know it was Ross if we didn't have subtitles. So, what's the deal with her? Do we need to try the same trigger her and run? I don't like this, guys. Did it work? I feel like that would only serve to... Maybe we shouldn't have run this way though, because now she's going to be like... more in our way. She's closer now. Okay, she definitely senses us, but she's okay. We're just like... Moving really slow. She does not like us one bit. This is painful. Okay. Seems like slow and steady wins the race here. Oh, and she freaks out and says, get away from me. If we just stand still, she calms down. And I think we just got a little cocky last time, running in the hallway real fast. I think instead, we just need to keep doing the slow and steady wins the race. I wish there was an option to like creep slowly instead of doing it like this inch by inch.
Okay. So she got us in the hallway when I thought we were at a safe distance in the hallway. Not exactly sure where she came from. I'm gonna keep my eye on her. Because running didn't work. Okay. Someone said he wins the race. I don't know how she saw us in the hallway last time. What? It's official. I thought I had her figured out. She let us get by as long as we just crept really slowly, but this time... We were creeping super slowly, and it didn't matter. It seemed like she was going to chase us anyway. So maybe we just need to run in the hallway instead of creep? Like, once we get to the hallway, just sprint for it. But also, I don't know where she came from. She, Cause she's all the way over here. How did she hear us? Okay, she seems more relaxed now. So here's the plan. Get to the hallway and sprint for it. At what point it would be appropriate to sprint, I'm not sure. I'm gonna say the minute we get into the hallway. It seems like it's about halfway down the hallway when she starts really coming for us. Hi. We don't want any trouble. Just leave us be. Okay. Ready? Let's make a run for it. Ready, set, go. Shut the door, Cat. Lock it up. What's happening? Lock the door. It's locked. What's going on? Oh. Oh my gosh. We managed to piss off another one of WoW's monsters. We have everything we need, right? Yeah. Let's get to work. Thank you, Catherine. You saved my life. We need to assemble your new body with the things you collected. Just, Just... stuff all of it into the suit with the dead body. Wow, that's real scientific. Just stuff it all into the suit. <laughs> It'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> Here's the dead body. Oh, that's this so gross. Crazy. This is going to be Don't us. Worry, it'll work. We're going to be just like that inside a dead body with a power pack on the back and some structure gel to make sure it's all bunched together with the structure gel connecting all the parts. Oh. All right, try activating the seat from the terminal again. I can't believe we're gonna get inside that. I mean, I guess we're already inside something like that, so it's just going from one thing to another, but still. Initializing power suit. Skin calvanic response. Okay. Power source, okay. Cortex activity, fail. Body temperature, fail. Let's retry. I can't believe we're doing this. It will be fine. Then why don't we put you in the suit? I was going to suggest that if you refused. You'd go without me. I need to do this, Simon. This is important. 
I need to launch the Ark. You'd really do it? Change body? Yes. If you want to stay here, I'm not going to stand in your way. I don't want to tell you what to do. What would it be like before? Close my eyes and then... And then open them again. All right. Let's do it. Thank you, Simon. Go sit in the pilot seat in the next room. You might need to boot it up. The pilot seat. Okay, here's what I want to know. If this is just like a dive suiting station, how come they have it all set up for like transferring mines here? I thought that was over at Catherine's station where her office was. Why can they read mines in here? We need to loop back the activity manifested by your current cortex chip, run it through the amplifier, feed it into the new chip, and then make sure it's synced. You lost me halfway. Yeah, I have no clue you what that really means, Catherine. You don't understand it. Just make them line up. Okay, we're just making the two sine waves line up? Oh, okay, it's just frequency, offset, and amplitude. Okay. Okay, uh, it looks like we have about the same frequency. Let's change the offset. No, we don't have the right frequency. We need a longer frequency. That seems about right. The peaks are lining up with peaks and the troughs are lining up with troughs. Is this right? No, it's definitely a shorter frequency. I think this is the right amplitude. Okay. The frequency is still a little bit off. I think our frequency is too high, so we need a lower frequency. Yeah, that's better. And now we just need to offset it to the left. No. There we go. That's everything. You can climb into the pilot seat now. Already? I have everything under control. So please, have a seat. Catherine, I hope you know we're go putting our life in your hands. Seat. Don't mess this up. Sorry, I don't really trust you. This should be over it's like having a picture taken. But with the most expensive camera in the world. You know. Indians thought photos would steal their souls. In this case, they'd be right. <laughs> wow. We're in a second dead body. There must be something wrong. Can't you run a diagnosis or something? Nothing? No, it's still alive? What is that? No, I it's just Why was it still talking? It's the same like before. Catherine, why was he still talking? That's how it works, you know that. What do you mean? You know it's not magic. You were copied. The sleeping Simon in the seat was copied, and now you are here, just like Simon lived on in Toronto. God damn you, Kath. Two Simons? There can't be two Simons. What did you think would happen? That you were gonna take my mind and put it into another body, like a brain transplant. I'm sorry, it wouldn't work that way. You realize how messed up this is? Please, I didn't mean to upset you. How did you expect me to react to this shit? Please stop. You're fucking disgusting. What's that, gonna happen to him? That Simon is still alive? A few days. And then what? Wake up in this fucking nightmare again? All alone? That's so cruel. Well, what do you want me to do with him? Make friends? Let him know that we have to leave him behind when we go into the abyss? What if... What if he didn't need to wake up? You do that? I don't know. Maybe. There. I set it up for you. Hit the switch if you want to drain his battery. He'll die within a minute. I'd rather not stay plugged in anymore. So, we're not us anymore. That is us. We're just a copy of that. That being also a copy of Simon and Jared. This guy willingly got his brain transferred into something else and then just submitted himself to dying. We just agreed to dying, basically. I mean, I'm not going to leave him alive. There's nothing for him in this station except for crazy monsters that want to kill him. We have to do it. We just killed ourselves.
Did it work? Oh my gosh. We just killed ourselves. Catherine did not tell us that's what that's how this was gonna work. I like this guy believed that we were gonna like move our consciousness from there into there, not just our memories. Oh, I don't like this. Alright, Catherine, I feel disgusting. Just tell me what we need to do next. Reminder. Check your air supply. Wait a second. Swipe control. Let's do this. Oh, I feel so disgusting. I just killed myself. Okay, but to be clear, I didn't kill myself for any continuity reasons. I have no... I have no illusions. There is no continuity here. We are a brand new being that just popped into existence like a few seconds ago. I killed myself because there's nothing left for him there. If he can't move on into the de depths and he's just stuck in that room for all eternity, I don't want to submit him to a life of torture like that. So, which one is the lift? Is that the lift or is that the lift? I think straight's the more obvious way. Which means it's probably the wrong way. But, let's go, let's just go straight. Let's see where this takes us. Oh my gosh. It's gonna take me a minute to get over. Okay, this one's clearly broken. So glad we're leaving this place behind. That was not fun. No part of that was fun. From being chased by crazy wow monsters to killing ourselves. Why are we going all fuzzy here? And it's there's gonna be no explanation for whatever led us into Omicron and was talking to us. All right, let's plug in Catherine. Are we done here? Yeah. Activate the clamor, please. Sure thing. Okay. No more pleasantries. We just called Catherine disgusting. I don't think she's ever going to let us forget. Did we do it? Ascend or descend? Ascend. We want to descend, passengers. One. Take a seat and we'll be off. It's like a roller coaster. The sunlit zone. Have we figured out what happens when we die yet? Is that even possible? There's some kind of afterlife. Do you think my place is taken? The real me died like a hundred years ago. I don't ago. think there's an afterlife for robot consciousness. There's still room for me? And what about the Simon I killed at Omicron? What do you think, Catherine? Is there a heaven full of redundant copies of the same people? I think the there's answer there to the Simon is it's better not to think about these things. Them luck, right? And I woke up in the right body. I basically flipped a coin, and if I had called the wrong side, I'd be rotting away at Omicron. I mean, there's nowhere to know, right? You didn't hit the make sure Simon wakes up in the right body switch, did you? 
Not that you would know. I mean, he would still claim to be the right sign. He is the right sign. Christ. We're a different sign. This is awful. We did an awful fucking thing. And you wouldn't mind. Why would you? How could you know that it's not me, the me that I am, the same that I've always been? Catherine's being Let quiet. Let me say something. I don't want to think. Please. I don't know what to say. I don't want to upset you. You already did. Say anything. When I was little, I used to climb the stairs all the way to the top of the building. And I can still feel how I did it, you know, tuck my arm so I could push the heavy steel door open. Well, the first time that I dared go up there, I stepped out onto the roof and watched the small rise and fall over Taipei. I got all the way up to the corner ledge and, you know, I felt the warm wind in my hair and the sun was setting and the streets below were shadowed by the tall buildings. The people pushing through the crowd flowed like paint from an artist brush. Street food vendors filled the air with aromas of all my favorite foods. For a brief moment, I felt connected to the world in a way that I never had before. It was the most profound feeling of comfort and sense of belonging I could ever hope for. I really never felt the same way again, but I went up to the roof many times after. I'm not religious, but I can see why people would be. The privilege of being makes a strong case, at least every once in a while. Do you still feel that sense of awe? Even like this? Things are different, but we're still here. What's the point of going on? Everyone's gone. All the people still left are digital copies trapped in computers at the bottom of the sea. We'll never be able to rebuild or reclaim what we were. Are you really so unhappy being what you are, or is this about the man who went for a scan a hundred years ago? Both, I guess. When I was back in Toronto, even the worst case, the darkest futures I could predict, they at least included my previous life somehow. I feel so uprooted. There's nothing here that I recognize, nothing that makes me feel like I belong. Even if we make it to the Ark, would it be any different? still be alone no friends no family you could make new friends i'm sure everyone would like to know the time traveler if not you still have we still have you catherine i hope that's what you're gonna say what happened catherine Kath? hello catherine what happened What? Why can't I take Catherine with me? What's that? Oh, this is a fish. Wait! I want to take Catherine with me. Am I really leaving Catherine behind? What happened? Check this out. Here's my question. Why do we need this thing? Why couldn't we just have jumped off the cliff? Okay. Hey, I know it's not much, but why don't we stop moving? The power blacked out for a moment. I think it could be the atmospheric pressure. It's pushing pretty hard, really testing the limits of my suit. Don't worry. It should hold. Should? It will hold. Every time. Does... Does time freeze when you're not powered? Time feels omitted. What's the difference? I don't feel like I'm being held back or hindered. And I don't have the opportunity to reflect on the time I'm missing. It's simply missing. Sounds like sleeping without the dreaming. Yes. But generally you anticipate when you're about to sleep, and there's a natural continuation since we tend to wake up where we went to sleep. My experience is more like an ever-changing moment that never really seems to find closure. She probably doesn't That's even realize like she skipped time until long. after she skipped it. I suppose it. so. I guess it sounds exciting, but it really keeps me activated to the point of exhaustion. It's rough. Could be worse. It could be a time traveler stuck in a body made from black goo. That would be the worst. Catherine, we don't need that sense of humor, okay? 
We're having enough existential crises as it is. Again? What was that? Are we getting attacked? What is that? What? You did it! You did it! What? Ross is the dead body. We did what? Please don't make preparations for me. I don't want preparations. Oh, good, you're back. What Catherine, happened? what was that? Something dropped onto the cage. Knocks you right out. It spoke to me. It looked like a man, one of WoW's creatures. It just stared at you for a moment, then threw itself down the abyss. It said it would make preparations. Oh. I don't like the sound of that. It was very strange. I thought it was going to kill you for sure. Glad it didn't. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it's not going to kill me now because it has set up to kill me later. Looks like we're closing in on the ocean floor. Good, not sure the climber can take it much longer. Okay, so this is the Omega Sector. It's about an acre of the Abyssal Plan used by Pathos 2. I expect we'll have to do some walking before we reach town. You haven't been here before? Not in a way that'll help us. Right, the other you has been here. We're following your old footsteps, Cat. When I had footsteps... You could still be down here somewhere. Oh my gosh. Let's find Catherine's dead body and tell her about it. Okay. They made preparations for me. Really? It won't let us out this way? It's gonna make us climb up? Wait. Oh, I gotta swipe control. Okay. Here we go, we're on the Abyssal Plain. Walking to Tau. Looks like this place has been thoroughly corrupted by WoW. Look at all this glowing robotic stuff. Error. Lumar Link needed to call Climber. Okay, that means that we're not, there's no going back up. What's with the creepy music? Okay, here we are. ACR platform. That's where we just came from. So we need to just walk forward to Tau. Looks like we can explore some of this stuff. Maybe we'll find Catherine. Maybe we'll find Catherine. All right, let's do it. Why does it sound like a thunderstorm in here? Here's the climber. Can I get in here? ACR log. Julia Dahl, Richard Holland. Sample collection, physical checkup. Julia Dahl, Richard Holland, check. Alan Waldeck, Julia Dahl, Tau evacuation. Why did they evacuate Tau? Alan Waldeck, Julia Dahl, failed. Catherine Chun, Ian Peterson, Sarah Lindwall, Nikolai Ivakshin, Jasper Hill. Bring the Ark to Phi. Alan Waldeck. Okay, so they go in this order. Do they? No. They evacuated Tau and they still sent people down? Because this is in... December when they sent the team down, but it was in September No, yeah, it was in September when they evacuated Interesting Why would they send people down if they knew this place had to be evacuated if they knew there was something d bad down here? See what we can learn from the data buffer. Tao, come in, Tao. Please answer, Tao. Nothing. It's dead. Let's move out. 
We'll try the next one. Something bad happened at Tau, and that's exactly where we're going. Of course it's where we're going. Why are all these cool lights? Fish. It's pretty down here. I'll give it that. It'd be even prettier if there wasn't all this, like, robotic machinery. Hey, what's in here? Is Catherine in here? Nope. There's nothing in here. Okay. Let's go across to this last building and then I think Tao's like just should be hop skipping a jump over that way. What's in here? Okay, a computer terminal. Warning! Fault line activity, strong torrents are expected. Okay. So we're at the climber station. We need to go to the observatory, then to TVSD, and then all the way to Tau. Okay, that's gonna be a long, long trek it looks like. Might as well get started. Actually, I think we'll get started on that in the next episode. I think this is a really good and natural stopping place. Um, we made a lot of progress, and most notably and thankfully, we got out of Omicron. Not looking forward to finding out what that thing was and what it has prepared for us, but we will find out next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.